we happened to stop in the Buffalo Chip Campground. We were playing tonight with Hank Williams Jr. at the Broken Spoke here in Sturgis, South Dakota. And we ran into all my friends from the Evil Knievel tent. I didn't get to see these guys at Evil Knievel Day, so they're gonna give us a quick tour. All right, so Lathan McKay is here, our buddy Lou. Tell us what we have going on here at this uh, display. We've got history. Yeah, this, this is, the display that Lathan put together is just, it's, it's just incredible. You know, for years, this memorabilia was scattered, not only over the country, but throughout the world. Right. And in a matter of two years, he put this display together with Evil's original bikes, leathers, right. helmets. It is just incredible. He, 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 I mean, if Evil was here to see this, what would he do? He'd probably ask you for a million bucks, but <laughs> guys, he wouldn't ask you for a million bucks, he'd demand a million bucks. You guys go in the truck yet? No, we haven't. Okay, we gotta go in the truck. Okay. The AC's out, but we gotta go. It's all right. We're used to that. <laughs> well, when do you guys head home? Uh, we're going to actually find out later today. We're probably going to the LA premiere of the film. Oh, wow. Is so, it the Johnny Knoxville film then? Yeah, the one that we co produced with him. Okay, fantastic. We're gonna take Big Red to Hollywood. Hell oh, yeah, it's awesome. And did you guys get a chance to see our show at Kenneville Days? Yes. Awesome. Well, of course. We're always there. Well, should we go check out the truck? You stay put. We'll let you know when you come in. So this is Evil Knievel's truck. This was his dressing room as well, right? Yes. This is where the, the pre-game action happened. The wild turkey, the whole, we're speaking wild turkey here. There's not much left, but this is the bar. <laughs> wow. Rumor has it he did one or two shots before every leap. Am I supposed to set this? Yes, you are. You have to when you come in here. That's why there's not much left. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, give me a motorcycle. Matt Hoffman. <laughs> Get him on that. I think Matt Hoffman drank half of that. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. But how far back does this thing date? What year is this? This cab is a 74. Okay. Um, then when Mac took over and started sponsoring him, prior to that he had a Kenworth brand wow. X. But an old high school picture. That's yeah, where I went is, to high school as well, right? This is the original photo of him on his hockey team. Wow. And he went to Butte High School too, correct? I think he was there half the time. Yeah. <laughs> he was expelled from Butte High he School. He did a jump in the at the uh, field there. Right. Their anti yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that footage yeah. is incredible. It's in the new film as well. Wow. Awesome. And didn't Evil, wasn't he famous for driving his own trucks? He like insisted on driving a lot? Early on he did. But yeah. after yeah. that he flew in for games, so okay. to speak. Yeah. Also, yeah. also, Evil would what he would do is he'd have his driver drive ninety eight percent of the trip, and then right before they got hit the town, I'll kick it on in the driveway he, for he you. He switch around. <laughs> he would always bring it into town like he drove the whole way. And a lot of his drivers used to say how upset they would get because, but they said, "Oh, you know, he's the king. He does what he wants. You know, and he's a showman. So that's what he did." Start the truck. <laughs> Start the truck. Well, thank you guys for the tour. Oh, yeah. yeah, thanks for the tour. <laughs>